Hi, I'm Tim Overhill with Barrett Firearms. We're here today to give you a brief tutorial about your new Barrett rifle. Uh, this is aimed at those who have a severe allergy to owner's manuals. This is just enough to get you to get the gun out of the box, get it together, get you on your way to the range. Okay, right here we have the Barrett Model 95. This is a five-shot bolt-action bullpup rifle, currently chambered in 50 BMG. As you would with any firearm, we're going to make sure that it's safe to work on by opening the bolt, pulling it to the rear, and doing a visual and physical inspection of the chamber area to make sure there's no live ammunition present. Now that we've determined that, we're going to go through the takedown procedure. First thing we're going to do is remove the magazine. The magazine catch is underneath these protective ears back here. We're just going to press forward on that, and the magazine will drop free. The first step in the takedown procedure is to push out the front lock pin and the rear lock pin. This being the front lock pin in the front and the rear lock pin in the rear. The rear lock pin is slightly longer than the front lock pin, so just keep that in mind when reassembling the rifle. To separate the upper receiver from the lower receiver, we're going to push forward and away from the lower receiver. Now this is about as far as you'll need to take down the upper receiver for cleaning and maintenance. We recommend that you clean the barrel from the breech end. You never want to uh, clean a precision rifle from the front. The cleaning rod could actually damage the rifling, the lands and grooves, which would negatively impact your accuracy. Okay, here we have the bolt assembly and the lower receiver assembly. In order to get the bolt out of the receiver for cleaning, we're going to put the gun in the fire position. We're going to pull the trigger to the rear, and we're going to depress the sear lever right here. By depressing the sear lever, the bolt can then ride over that and be removed from the gun. All right, this is as far as you'll need to tear down the lower receiver for cleaning and maintenance. You can access the entire fire control group here for cleaning out with gun scrubber, brake cleaner, and a bristle brush. And here we have the bolt carrier and the bolt assembly. If you need to tear that down for any further cleaning, we'll remove this clip. And we're going to drive this pin out. It only goes one way. It's finger tight, you can pull that right out. Now the bolt will slide right out of the bolt carrier. The firing pin can be removed for cleaning and maintenance, and you can scrub out the inside of the carrier and the other assorted pieces. If you need to remove the springs for cleaning in there, if this is especially dirty, they'll just fall right out. Okay, reassembly is the exact opposite. We insert the firing pin in the bottom. Okay, when working on the bolt, You'll want to take a, a stiff nylon or brass bristle brush and clean the bolt face, clean the other recesses, and re-lubricate using a gun oil or, or a light grease. Assembly is the exact opposite process. Firing pin slides through the firing pin channel. And we want to make sure that this recess, which is where this pin rides through, lines up with the hole for the pin. Okay, the large end of the pin goes with the larger opening. That just slides in. And we're just going to reinsert the retaining clip. As with the other Barrett models, the bolt needs to be in the cock position when reassembling. So just firmly grasp the bolt carrier and pull up on the bolt handle to recock it. For reinsertion into the receiver, once again, hold the trigger to the rear, and slide the bolt carrier back in. After you've cleaned the upper receiver, just lay it back down on the lower receiver. Just make sure the openings for the front lock and the rear lock pins line up with the upper and the lower. The front lock pin slides in and reinsert the rear lock pin.
Once that's all together, the bolt should slide freely. We'll do a function check. Once again, do a visual and physical inspection of the chamber area, make sure there's no live ammunition present. Close the bolt, cock it, put the safety in the safe position, and then pull the trigger. Nothing should happen. Rotate the safety into the fire position, and you should hear the firing pin snap forward. Just like that. Okay, inserting the magazine into the rifle for firing. Insert the front of the magazine first, and then rotate the rear up into the lock position, and give it a little tug to make sure that it's locked in place. And there you have the Barrett Model 95.